Hey everybody, um, yeah, so this is another video, as you can tell from the title above, it's a Sephora haul, and including, and in the Sephora haul, I'll have a couple more things that I do want to show you, because they were great deals, or I'm really pumped for them, I'm, I don't show you every single thing I get, but I just show you the things I'm really excited for. So I got a lot in the Sephora trip, and I spent a lot of money too, $144 I think, which was a lot, and I still am thinking about going back before I go on vacation and getting it, because by the time I go on vacation and come back, school will have already started for me, because I'm going on vacation for um, two months. So by the time I come back, um, school's going to be started, and I'm going to have so much work to do because I'm taking honors, I have two math classes, um, I have personal finance to deal with, so it's going to be so hard. So, yeah, I'm just going to get started. Uh, I'm going to start with the things I don't really care for too much, but they're still very exciting. I got two Sephora Mineral Loose, um, Loose Mineral Powder Foundation. Um, I did read a lot of reviews on this on Sephora.com. It had, it had thousands of reviews. And everyone said this is fabulous, and especially because this was only $5 each, so $10 for it together. Um, wait, I'll be right back. I got my CoverGirl one. It's a loose powder as well for about $4.94 from the drugstore. So if you're getting Sephora things that have great reviews for only 5 bucks, why not get two? I got one for the color I am right now, which this is still a bit darker, but she tested it on my um, neck and it was still a bit darker, but she said it looked good with um, a brush app application, So, which um, I will be trying out soon. And this I don't think I'm going to be trying out anytime soon because this is pretty light for me. This is in light um, ivory and this is in medium sand. And then next I will show you is Finding Mr. Bright. Um, so you just flip off the cardboard cover like this and then this is what it looks like. So you open the flap up like this. It has a mirror so I don't need to show you. But then it comes with instructions right here. Um, it tells you what each of the product is. what each of the product is, it's like, the, it's really funny, it says my five tips to finding Mr. Bright, my miss, um, by missing aka the dating doctor, and it says like, one girl meets pearl, two posy, ten, three high beam, four erase paste, five look for love in all of the right places, find Mr. Bright in your makeup bag, which is pretty funny, and then it has like, it's basically like, um, it's showing you it's a website, and on the back it's all the directions, and it's in all different um, languages, which is pretty good. And then it comes with four, um, I would say pretty mini size, maybe deluxe um, samples. Um, Girl Meets Pearl, it's tiny. It's only 7.5 millime uh, mill millimeters? No, milligrams. No, I don't know. Um, 0.25 fluid ounces, which is still very tiny. Um, it's basically a pinky pearly um, makeup base. It looks like this. I don't think I need to swatch it because I'm pretty sure people have seen this. Um, Benefit did come out with a different one last year. I think it was called That Gal. Um, people like That Gal better than Girl Meets Pearl, but I guess I'm going to have to use Girl Meets Pearl. And then it comes with Posey Tint, a lip and cheek stain. It's in the color, it's in the bubble gum pink color. Again, I don't have to swatch this for you because there's enough videos about it. And um, I'm not totally sold on the Posey Tint and the Benefit Tint. Yet, um, I haven't used this too much to actually give you a review or like any comments about it, but I'm not sold on the fact of the lip and cheek stains. I'm not really into the, um, into the type. I'm more of like the powder person like that uses powdered foundation, um, powdered everything, powdered blush, bronzer. If there was powdered lip gloss, I'd use it. Um, but cute packaging. And then it comes with high beam um, benefits um, highlighter oh my god where did it go oh, it's very tiny legit it's very tiny again comes with the blu uh, the brush applicator and it's this really beigey pearly color again I think benefit products are great and then it comes with erase paste which is a very famous um, concealer it comes in number two medium and it is a very creamy consistency again there's many videos of, on this and it's definitely like I 
probably will do a comparison between this and the I'm j I just want to get it the Dream Mousse Concealer from Maybelline so great consistency um, definitely covers up my bags which I have very like oh don't even want to get started about that um, this is great it's not even closing now so this was $36 which I in my opinion is a bit expensive because I was looking at the beauty in a box which comes with four full size products and one mini size product and which was $48 I believe and that's that's a couple bucks more than this and it comes with four full size products while this comes with how many like four deluxe slash sample sizes um I think Benefit needs to come up with more of these things with a bit bigger sampler that you can look at and then I got the Smashbox Masters class um, style files and this was $59 I think this is a great deal but this was not something I actually wanted but I'm I just had to get because I couldn't find anything anything else I wanted and I was determined to spend my money that day so it comes with the Smashbox photo finish lid primer a really small size of it basically a very tiny sample and then you open it like this and then you slide this book case um, sort of thing and there's like oh I thought this was upside down oh it is yeah it is upside down so stupid and then it comes with a eyeliner palette a lip and cheek palette and a shadow palette so you basically slide it out like this and then it also comes with um, the get the look um, manual and it basically tells you how to get a natural beauty look, a jet setter look, a um, office chic look, a date night look, and a red carpet glamour look. It tells you what to use, um, how to use it, um, what kind of products you'll need for it. So pretty good. And then, and then in the bag you can create your own looks so you don't forget. And then it comes with the three one, the three um, style files. Great for traveling, which I will be traveling. So I'm going to take this along with me. This is the shadow one. Um, this one, uh, I have enough shadows, but you can always use more. It comes with eight different eyeshadows. Four shimmery, four matte. And I got eyeshadow everywhere when I was swatching it. So I'll swatch my favorite colors. Um... Come in. Um, this is a purple shimmery color. This is a navy matte color. This is a very shimmery, um, bronzy, goldeny, silvery. I don't know how to describe it. It's very gorgeous though. And this is a shimmery brown color. There's eight of them though. Um, I don't feel like swatching all of them for you, so I swatched my favorite ones for you. And it doesn't have names on it. It just says um, shadow number one, shadow number two, shadow number three. Let me try to get the product off now. I'm able to swatch more things for you. I could do anything for you guys. And then it comes with a lip and cheeks um, palette. Um, it comes with huge mirrors, which are great when you're traveling. And then it comes with a. It says cheek number one and cheek number two. I'm trying to cover the mirror up. And w basically, one's a peachy blush, peachy pink blush. And one is a very light bronzing, uh, bronzer, which is great, ideal for um, light skin, I would say. And then it comes with two lip glosses to match the blush and bronzer. There's a pinky one. And then there's a brown one. So that's all that that is in the lip and cheek palette. And I'm just getting stuff everywhere. I'm nicking stuff. Oh my god. I'm a mess. And then lastly, it's my favorite um, palette, you would say. I'm just trying to get the color off. It's the eyeliner palette, which I am obsessed with mascara and eyeliner. So me getting six more colors to add to my collection is awesome. Six more eyeliners to add. 
great. Definitely going to be in tutorials and more of my videos. Um, it comes with two pencil eyeliners and four cream eyeliners. I should just I'll just show you the pencil ones first. They're tiny, and it's a Smashbox Limitless eyeliner in Fig. And then the other one is in Onyx. And then the four cream liners. They are this really um, light brown color. This um, brown color. A really cool metallic blue color and a navyish purple color. I haven't tried these out, so I don't know the exact color. But if you want me to review this um, style files whole kit for you, I can do that, and I probably will do that. So if I get a request, I'll definitely do it faster. But if I don't get a request, um, it might take a bit longer. I would like to try all the things out first. Um, I think I've tried a couple eyeshadows out. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I forget things. And then lastly from Sephora, I got the Sephora Favorites set for summer, which is fabulous. I took the thing out. I took this thing out because it was getting annoying. So I just put it in the bag it came with. And I left the page in here so I can show you that on the back it has all of these, um, all the items and what the ingredients are and, uh, what the colors are and stuff like that. So, yeah. And what company it's from, which is right, really helpful. And it's a really pinky, peachy, corally, um, makeup bag. Great for summer. I can definitely use this to go over to a friend's house if I want to do makeup or if I'm sleeping over. And, yeah. So it comes with how many things? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine things for $39, which isn't bad at all. I'll start out with the Urban Decay All Nighter um, Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray, which is comparable to Max um, Fix Plus. Pretty good size, I would say. Not like I'm going to use this all the time. I'm just going to use it on days I'm going out and it's going to be like really hot or my makeup will like peel off my face. And then it comes with the Tarte Lips Camera Spl uh, Lips. Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. I'm not going to be opening this, I'm sorry. But um, I would like to save this. Um, until my other mascaras like basically expire because I don't want to open anything new. Any new mascaras, I keep them aside. And then it comes with a tiny Sephora by OPI um, nail polish. The bad thing is that it doesn't really say the color on it, but I know the color I have it memorized. It's an I'm Wired. It's this very corally pinky color. Um, again, great for the summer. It definitely resembles the bag, in my opinion. It definitely resembles it. Sorry I can't swatch it because I don't feel like it. I'm just lazy. And then it comes with a Guerlain um, Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold. This is basically a makeup base, but I don't understand what the point of it is. It comes with a really cute pump. It's a pretty good size amount for Guerlain because Guerlain is one of the expensive brands at Sephora. Um, I don't understand what the point of it is. Is it like the girl meets pearl makeup base but I don't know I'll try to figure it out it would be helpful if they put instructions on the back I guess that'd be helpful but they didn't and then it comes with a sugar rose it's the company's fresh it's a sugar rose um, lip balm it comes with SPF 15 it's basically a tinted lip treatment and then instead of sliding open it screws open and then you put the product up like this. It's basically a very pinky, um, reddish color. Really good. Um, there's not a lot of product, I would say. But still, for the price, it's pretty good. And I have other um, tinted lip treatments that I can use. I'm not going to use this all the time. And then it comes with the Smashbox um, Soft Lights in Dusk. It's basically, it's described as a bronzer, so either you can use the colors by themselves or mix them together, which I would do, and it's a very muddy sort of bronzer, which, um, I like that look. And the packaging is like this really nice velvety packaging, reminds me of, um, Arvid Decay's Naked Palette. I don't have it, but I've felt it, my friends have them, so, yeah.
And then it comes with the Too Faced Peach Leopard Brightening and Perfecting Bronzer, which I would describe more of as a blush. And um, there's a really cute quote. It says, you look, you look absolutely perfect right under the mirror. I don't think I should need to show you the mirror. Um, cute packaging. It's this very peachish color, like it says, like the peach leopard. Um, I would describe this more of maybe like a blush, I would say. More more than a blush, of, uh, more than a bronzer, I think I would describe it as a blush. Then it comes with a Sephora brand um, full size eyeshadow in Cocoa Access. It's a long lasting paraben free. So you open it up like this, it um, opens like this, and then let me just swipe it. Um, it's this really cocoa, dark brown cocoa color with a lot of silver shimmers in it. And I really like it. I think, I'm pretty sure that's full size. If it's not, that's a lot of product still. And the last thing in this thing is a Smashbox Lip Enhancing Gloss. It's a sheer color gloss and it's in pop. It comes with a bl uh, the brush applicator and the packaging is very velvety and soft and smooth which I really like. It's it's like the same packaging and I really like this. I've used this already. Um, it's not that sheer. It's a very corally, really like pinky um, color. It's not bubblegum pink but it's like more on the corally side and I really like that. Um, the bag was just another plus and then a couple more things that I got. I got this, um, I got this at Macy's, um, I did go into Sephora looking for this, but they didn't have it because this is getting, um, come in, this is getting, um, taken away, it, they're not going to have it in their permanent line anymore, it's the Clinique Advanced Concealer in 2 Matte Medium, okay, when you look at this, you're like, isn't that a bit too dark? But the lady at the counter, she told me it was getting discontinued, and she was like, okay, I only have a couple left, and I'm like, okay, um, I know it only comes in two colors, really light or medium. So I'm like, for concealer, I usually like to go um, a couple colors down. She's like, she was a little lighter than me, not maybe like, e like 50%, 0.5. 0.5, um, I'm, I don't know what I'm saying, never mind. Um, she was just a little bit lighter than me, and not even like a whole shade down, just a little bit lighter, half a shade down. And she was like, I use the medium one, and it works great, it blends into my skin, and it definitely brightens my under eye. And she had bags too, I could tell, and I had bags, very bad bags actually. And she's like, I use medium, and then I got it, I'm like, okay, I wasn't too sure about it. But this works amazing, I've had this on for so many hours, I was out on my trampoline, I was out in the sun, um, it was very hot today. And this didn't come off, it didn't budge, I didn't have to reapply it before the video. It works fabulous, and it was only, um, $14.50, but it's getting discontinued, I'm not sure if it has already gotten discontinued, I'm not sure. And I would say it's a lot of product in here because you're not going to use, if you do use it every day, it's still going to last you a couple months. A lot of product. Oh yeah, sorry I keep putting back in. And it's like this kind of um, top which I really like because you don't get too much product at. And I don't like how um, some concealers come out come with like the Dofa applicators and stuff. Those annoy me. And then from the Bath and Body Works um, semi-annual sale, I got the Dark Kiss Lotion because Dark Kiss um, is one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. It's so nice, and I have the spray in for it, not the full size because I can never finish full size. So um, I have the um, how many three fluid ounces one, um, the spray. So I decided to get the lotion. This is only two dollars. Originally, it's five dollars. So I believe it was probably like um, 75% um, off or something, and it was only $2 I got. I got a couple more things, but I wasn't so excited about that, so I'm not going to show you. And then I got the Dream Matte Mousse um, Foundation in Natural Ivory Light 3, and it's from Maybelline, New York, and this is what it looks like. I didn't, 
I got the matte mousse. I don't even know why, but I just got it. That's what it looks like. The consistency is great. I'm very creamy, very moussey, like it says. And this matches my color perfectly. I haven't used it yet, but it definitely matches me pretty good. And I forget the price for that. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's $7, $8, I believe. <coughs> and then I got the Dream Mousse Blush from Maybelline in 40 Soft Plump. Because I like the more of the... I don't like the bright pinks. I like the mauve purples and stuff for blush. But this is still pretty pink. This is what it looks like. And it's still pretty pink, but it's more on like the mauve purpley side. This is what it looks like. Um doesn't really show up too much, but still gives a really nice blushed color. Can you see that? I don't think you can. But that was my haul. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you want to see any reviews on any other things I mentioned, please comment below or message me. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe again. And if you want to see a travel series, please comment below for that too. See you next time. Bye.